What's up guys, my name is Mike, welcome back to the channel. Got something a little different for you today, but I'm sure you guys will recognize these ones. So, uh, let's take a look. Now, my box got a little screwed up here. I'm going to blame that on FedEx, but uh, I think you guys might recognize these when you see them. So here we have the Air Jordan 1 in the stealth colorway. Um, now, I thought this colorway was super clean when I first saw pictures online. Man, um, loved them from the jump. I figured everybody would be all over these. They would sell out instantly. Um, and luckily, I was wrong, man. Um, I got the notification on my phone a couple weeks back when they dropped. And um, I got it like five minutes later. I saw it five minutes late. And I just figured, oh, well, those are gone, you know, threw in the towel. And um, my buddy sent me a message and was like, dude, I just picked up those stealths. They're still sitting. And I was like, you got to be kidding me, man. So uh, for whatever reason, uh, people didn't want these, uh, at least not like they normally do. Um, and I was able to get a pair, man. So uh, I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, you know, sometimes the, the leather quality and things like that on these Jordan retros can be a little inconsistent. But uh, I must say, man, Nike did a really good job on these. So, uh, leather is extremely soft to the touch, man. I mean, it's nothing crazy. It's not going to blow your mind, right? I mean, the cuts are pretty thin. But compared to some of the stuff I've seen, I mean, this stuff is actually feels pretty great. So you got your white you know, making up the mud guard, quarter panels, things like that, most of the upper, right? Pretty standard stuff. Gray, perforated leather on the toe box, swoosh, wrap in the heel, up around the ankle. You got your Jordan Wings logo, d -boss there, which I wasn't wild about that, not being like white or some sort of contrasting color, but in person, I think it actually looks really clean, just being d -bossed into the gray like that. Um, so I think these are dope, man. I think they're super clean, super versatile, you know, um, and uh, I'm not sure what people didn't like about them. I don't know if it's the color blocking. It's not like that traditional Jordan 1 color blocking with like these being white, uh, but whatever, man. Uh, I think they're dope. You got the gray on the outsole, Jordan 1 traction. Great traction if you're actually going to hoop in these, which I'm not going to do, but um, either way, um, just I think these came out really clean man let me know what you guys think i'm going to show you the other one here so they also came with some white laces that i'm going to lace up for the on foot but i want to give you guys sort of a better look at the tongue and the inside here so this ankle liner is actually like a microfiber suede almost feels pretty nice you know a little different but as you can see the construction on these man like they're built really well you know uh, I was impressed like there's really not a stitch out of place at least not on my pair the only thing I don't like and I'll show you real quick this tongue tag is leather and the Nike Air stitching looks a little wonky it actually looks weird on both pairs in my opinion so I mean that's the only real flaw I would say I found you know on, on, on this pair anyway but um, you know whatever I can live with that and on the back of the tongue tag Quality inspired by the greatest player ever with the little goat emoji, right? Pretty sick. Nice padded tongue. It's sort of like a really light silver. It's not a white. It's not a gray. It's kind of in between. But, um, man, I, you know, really happy with these, man. I'm not sure uh, why people slept or, you know, I don't even like using that term. You know, people like what they like. You can't cop every pair. Um, you know what I mean? But whatever. I'm glad I was able to get my hands on them, you know? So, all right. So my overall thoughts, man, like this is just a great sneaker. You know, you got a nice, clean, easy to wear colorway on a classic model. You know, I don't really do uh, like basketball style shoes much anymore. Um, I don't really even do high tops much anymore. You know, uh, this is only maybe the third pair of high tops that I currently have, I think. Um, not that I don't still love them. Um, not that I don't still love, you know, Nike's Jordans, all that stuff. Um, I just, you know, as you get older, you know, style preferences change, comfort preferences change, things like that. So, uh, this kind of brings me back, right? It kind of brings back some nostalgia of, uh, uh, of the good old days, right? So, 
Um, good job, Nike, man. Got to give credit where credit's due, and uh, they got a good one here, man. So just glad I could get them. We're going to lace up the white laces. I'm going to throw them on foot. Uh, let me know in the comments which ones you guys like better, gray, white. Um, I think they'll both look good. Um, and let me know what you think of the shoe, man. Did you cop? Did you pass? If you passed, you know, what don't you like? Um, if you did cop, you know, are you happy with them? Um, I think these are going to go hard, man. I think these are going to get a lot of wear. I think they're going to wear well. Um, and, uh, yeah, pretty happy, man. So, so uh, you know, thanks again for watching. And, uh, you know, let's connect in the comments on socials. I'll leave my social media handles in the description. And um, we'll see you next time.